Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from AlexMercedCoder.com. I got the first three videos up on YouTube in case you want to start watching them. But I mean, chances are if you're watching this video, you've probably already seen the first three videos. So that seemed like a pointless announcement. Um, but moving on, I will put the other videos up as I record them. But this is our website so far. I can I log in, I get to this dashboard. What I'm gonna do in this video is just take a moment to style this a little bit, just so that way this looks a little bit nicer. Okay, and just to kind of remember a couple things to point out about this particular template. If you use the template that I linked to at the very beginning, um, there is like basically there's what's called an EJS partial. Think of it as just like a a piece of a website that we can inject into different places, and that's in this partials folder. And this is for our head tag. Here I've already linked to Bulma. Okay, so that means we can use Bulma for styling. So I'm going to kind of just style my header and footer for the moment and kind of get that underway. So I'm going to go refer to the Bulma documentation, kind of get that going. So let's see here. I just want to build out like a title of sorts. So I think actually titles is under elements title. So we'll just do this title. Okay, so in this case, what I want is an H1. Okay, with a, this just says hopes and dreams. And I'm gonna give this the class of title. This is a Bulma class. And we can specify the size by using is one. That just makes it big. Okay, and, and again, the, the, this header and footer, as long as you've been copying the pages like I have, so that way they always have these partials included in them, these includes statements, this will appear at the top of every page. So that we only have to edit one. So now if I go back over here and I refresh, oh, my server's not running, is it? Yep, my server's not running. And PM run dev. Okay. Cool, hopes and dreams. Now we'll, we'll keep cleaning that up and making that a little bit cooler. Okay. Now let's see here. Title. Okay, we type down, down, repeated value. Okay, all that stuff has to be done with SAS. Not gonna do, not gonna deal with that. Um, let me just see if I can change the color. I need one of ten colors or nine shades of gray. Okay, so right now the text is black. What does it let me set background of? Here we go. Has background color danger light. Let's try that. Let's add that class. Okay, and I want to center this, so I'm just going to do that. There's also already configured a CSS file that's already connected, so that's in the public folder. So I can just go there and just kind of style that h1. So we'll just say an h1 with the property of title. I want that centered, text align, center. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's, you know, not the prettiest thing in the world, but we're not going... I'm not going to spend hours here. This is just a quick, a, a quick setup. Okay, and then um, we'll do something similar for the floor, for the bottom. Um, so let me go to here, header, footer. So I'm going to go to the footer, and I'll just copy something similar. And except I want the title to be, and would make this an H3. The reason you do that is you only want really one H1 tag for SEO purposes, because that's gonna be what Google treats as the title of the page. So in that case, what I'm gonna do is there. Um, and then this like this website was created by Alex Merced of alexmercedcoder.com. And let's make this a little bit smaller. So we'll say f is four. And let's see how that looks. Oh, 
I gotta center that too. So let's go over to our CSS and center that. CSS file. And then I'm just gonna say, hey, how about a H, what did I set it as? H3. And H3 with the class of title. Should also get the, apply that style. And I do kind of wish like this, like there's a little bit more space between the letters here and these bars. So I'm gonna give it some padding. We'll say 10 pixels. That should do it. Yeah, that looks a bit better. Cool. Okay, so there's like our basic page design, and this is essentially the the main content. I'm not gonna bother with a navigation bar, but you know, I'm just keeping this simple as simple can. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, okay, so that's my website so far. Okay. And I think that will... Only if the thing I will do is that in here I want all anything in my main tag. Because that's going to be the main body. I want a generally centered text align. The default, the text align center. And then I want that to have a margin of 10 pixels. Now let's just see if I should give it a little bit more space. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Cool. Okay, so let's just see how, like, when I go to, like, auth slash login, how does that look? Okay, and then we can probably make this a little bit nicer. Okay, so let's go to these, let's go to Bulma's documentation for forms. Layout form, here we go. Let's get me there. Okay, forms, let's go take a look at inputs. Okay, the color, size, class, input. Okay, so I just want to add a class of input to each of these things. So, and so let's just go over here to my forms, log in. Uh, it's all the way down here, log in. And for each of these, just add a class of input. Specifically for these two. And then I do the same thing on the sign up page. Save. Okay, and let me just see how that looks now. See, that looks a bit nicer. I probably just want to create some margin around those inputs. So what I'm going to do um, in my personal CSS, I'm going to change any input tags, input, I'm going to make them have their own, make them block elements so that way they stack on top of each other, which they're already kind of doing, but just to make it more explicit and display block. And I'm going to make sure they have a margin of five pixels, eight pixels, seven pixels. There we go, let's see how that looks. Okay, so see they have a little bit more space. I'm gonna wanna center that particular. I wanna make sure these are centered. Okay, and I don't want them to take more than 40% max width, 40% of the screen. And then I want margin auto, so that way if they're less, they are get centered. So margin auto, that'll center them. Oh, I see what I just did there. Oops, let me put that auto here. Okay, there we go. Let me refresh the page and see that look. That's looking a bit better, even though these are still taking up the full width. So let me just think about that. Max width, forty percent. Take a look at this tool here. Do, 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 do. Okay, yeah, so something is overriding. So I'm assuming something from Bulma is overriding uh, these two properties. So you see here, like when I look here, I see display slash my, my, my input styling, the display is being ignored. That means something is ignoring it. I, I don't want my 40% particularly to be ignored. So what I can do is I can add the important tag here. And what that does is just says, so this is, this takes priority or anything else. It's kind of sloppy to use that, but 
sometimes usually when you're working with a CSS framework it becomes kind of necessary there we go but in that case now I do want them to be a block so I need to go add the important event one add important okay and that should now give me the effect that I want perfect nice now I just want to do that submit button okay text area now general able button I guess we just do the class of button on the input on the submit so let's go do that login.ejs and then on this one we'll do class button and then I'll do the same thing on sign up okay save save let's take a look <coughs> okay so see that's starting to look a bit nicer okay I mean again not super fancy and, and it's been like a tremendous amount of time really kind of like nailing this down but you know having a CSS framework like this can just help me just do a mock-up real quick and then I can go back and like fine-tune it more with my own custom styling afterwards okay so let's see here any other changes I would like to make I think I'm good what I would like to do is just make it where when we go to the main page which would be home that it'll give us a link to log in and log out so we're just gonna create two buttons actually not log in log out but sign up sign in so button so a href equals slash auth slash sign up button class equals button and this button is going to say sign up control C control V and log in for the main page and this will take us to the login page so that way when you're on the main page you basically have two choices you can sign up or log in so let's see here let's just see how that looks make sure it looks all right and yeah that works that works doesn't have to be anything fancy okay I think that gets the point across it's like hey you're here if you want to do anything you gotta sign up or log in cool now let's see here okay and basically you're probably thinking wait a second Alex like this is all the way up here I would like the footer more towards the bottom of the screen okay let's fix that real quick too because that's not a hard fix so let's think about that basically the way that the box model works when it comes to the browser is that see like this this is h1 here that's a block then there's like my main block which is a block and then my footer block and then my website just ends so this is at the bottom of my website it's just it ends here it ends where the content ends so what I really want to do is I want to extend this content to make it bigger which it'll naturally do as we add content but what do I do when there isn't any content what I can do is I can give it like a fixed minimum height okay so we will do that um, so I'm gonna go back to my CSS okay and then we're gonna say here give it a minimum height and we'll say 80% of the viewport height and let's see if that works yeah maybe a little bit less though okay so we'll say a little bit say like 70% of the viewport height let's see how that looks I can live with that okay and see I can click log in takes me to this page and you know basically this won't get pushed down until actual there's actual content to push it down otherwise it'll be right there I mean I could and again you know if I were to make this screen smaller okay and refresh the page like it'll always just kind of be 70% down the page so it's kind of it'll it'll fluctuate based on the screen size making it responsive like if I go here to mobile mode okay see it, it, it does the thing it'll always start 70% down which will work differently on different screens kind of keeping that that effect 
okay so that's because the size of the main div is pushing the footer down okay um but yeah that's that's fine i think right now this looks aesthetic enough for us to move on again i'm not trying to build like the mona lisa here this is just a quick dry run but i'll see y'all in the next video ciao